Good day everyone. Bonjour. An Italian born French poet, Guillaume Apollinaire, once said Without poets, without artists, men would soon weary of nature's monotony. The sublime idea men have the universe would collapse with dazing speed, the order of which we find in nature and which is only an effect of art, would at once vanish. Everything would break up in chaos. There would be no seasons, no civilization, no thought, no humanity. Even life would give way and the impotent void would reign everywhere. Imagine we are living in a dull world. No colors, no creativeness, no such beauty with the things we see, we see around us. How different would our everyday lives would be? What would happen if we suddenly said, I like the color of your dress, suits you, without really seeing the difference of it from the uh, everything you used to see? I think that would be awkward. Well, I do think it will really be boring knowing how people love the rhythm of beauty. 8 out of 10 kids in primary school probably had done drawing, right? The legendary masterpiece of a Filipino kid. You probably do not belong to us if you started to think what it is. Have you really, really forgotten? The smiling sun between the two mountains with its more than eight rays and thick eyelashes? How about the letter M symbolizing a bird or the hat and the rice field or even the uh, stick man? The rainbow with its not appropriate color but still look good in your eyes? and even brag it in your home, sometimes you would even beg to your mother just to display it. Now, you are smiling with the sudden rush of memories, or is it, is it because you still do the same drawings? <laughs> Those arts, when we are young, becomes our own foundation of appreciation. We captured it by our own eyes, save it in our mind, and we normally try to develop everything in a sheet of paper. People are fond of creativity. Between every single of conversation, people never forget to involve arts or creative topic even in a few lines of words. And wherever you are, in house, in public, or uh, in private places, but I'm not actually here to talk about our past drawings during primary schools. Let's say I'm going to tour you in a particular country and along the journey let me talk about the important things and related topics to those things we are about to see. Before we start, allow me to say something about that country. It is the largest country in Western Europe. It, is, it has the most popular tourist destination in the world. It entices people of all ages with some of the world's most iconic landmarks. World-class art and architecture, sensational foods and wines, beautiful countryside, and a staggering amount of history. Now. Do you have any specific country in mind or uh, it's quite confusing? Okay, let me give a clue. The famous Eiffel Tower. Yes, if you were thinking France, you're right. Since we are fond of creativity, we will try to explore the culture of France, particularly their arts and architecture. 
So uh, sit back, relax, and listen. Living in France would give us the idea of living a luxurious life, spending weekends, exploring the wealth of museums and art heavens. As what we all know, that France is blessed with impressive monuments and art and architecture. Before we formally begin, allow me to hold my list of different arts and architecture for I am a person who hardly memorizes more than a thousand words. Have you ever heard about the famous painter Eugene Delacroix? That one guy with the scar on both his arms and face because of a nurse negligence by reading a classic French novel? Once a little boy who had been dropped from the sea by a family servant and also died by choking, poisoning, and those who imitate to hang himself. Yes, that man is a legend French painter now. He painted the liberty leading the people. That one painting with the almost naked lady holding the French flag surrounded by men and soldiers with a sword and a gun on their hands. Speaking of the Lady Liberty, did you know that one standing in New York City is actually an architectural art of the French people and give it as a gift to America? It was designed by Frederick Auguste to celebrate United States independence in 1876. Then after that, there was this story wherein us decided to give a gift to France in return to their Statue to Liberty, which is known as the Eiffel Tower. But then after that, it became the global icon. Eiffel became one of the reasons of a lot of people visits the land of art and love, Paris. This French art and architecture are still on trend up to this date. Isn't it you and your partner's dream to kiss near the Eiffel Tower? Or stand it between its feet because it was believing that if lovers stand there, they will be partners forever? Kidding. I just heard that somewhere I was in high school. And oh, who among you have ever watched the movie Da Vinci Code? One of the amazing architectural art of French has shown in that movie and that is the Lovre Museum, the shape of a pyramid filled with the best known work of art including Mona Lisa, the painting of Leonardo da Vinci. He is Italian by the way, and I guess Mona Lisa is Italian too, kidding aside. The liberty leading the people is also safe in that museum. Ever heard anything about Water Lily series by Claude Monet? The Sistine Chapel of Impressionism, that is how they describe it. It was considered to be the top painting created by French artists. It was consisting of approximately 250 oil painting which were created by him during the last 30 years of his life. He is really devoted. An amazing fact about these works is that Monet's eyesight was badly deteriorating due to cataract while he painted most of this masterpiece. How about Camille Pizarro, an avid youth and poet? The painting that represents the husband's renovation of Paris, wherein that taxi roof has become a symbol of French architecture. It was when a new monumental construction was made in an impressive tall manner. Many of the old ones were embellished. The streets were accompanied by lines of trees and street fronts became unified by cream-colored stone signs. In this period, a trapezoid-shaped rooftop was popularized called a mansard. Other paintings from the card figure series by Paul Cezanne, it describes French art style from mid-1880s to early 1900s. 
and this period considered to be the best period in arts. The paintings depict provincial peasants in rows and playing cards and smoking their pipes. They are noted for their lack of drama, narrative, and conventional characterization. To tell you a fact, one version of it was sold for more than $250 million in the year 2011. Next, the famous work of Jacques Louis David, The Death of Marat, which shows the radical journalist lying in then in his path, is one of the most famous pictures of the French Revolution. The story behind the painting is about a lady getting revenge by killing a journalist and politician named Jean Paul Marat. The Danze in year 1910. It shows five dancing figures painted in strong red, greens simplified green landscape, and deep blue sky. The painting exudes primitive energy and has been deliberately painted in a sophisticated and childish way. It was painted by Henry Matisse, who is also considered as one of the most influential figures of modern art. La Radu de la Meduse, or the Raf of Medusa. The 400 people on board had to evacuate, out of which 151 were put on a raft. These men on the raft had to go through a terrible ordeal. Some were obviously washed into the sea, others were then killed by officers, and some were engaged in cannibalism, and others who was injured was thrown into the sea. After 13 days on the sea, the raft was found with only 50 men surviving. The event became an international scandal. Olympia probably but not certainly the most famous building in the 19th century. It was painted by Edward Manet. Unlike other words, Olympia did not depict a goddess or a court lady but a high class. Prostitute with different details that identify her as a prostitute, not to mention but her beauty has nothing to do with it. Said details are the earrings, bracelets, orchids, and the oriental shawl on which she lies. The most famous aspect of the painting is the confrontational gaze of Apolitia, which is often referenced as the pinnacle of defiance toward patriarchy. The figure created by August Odin, 1902, is a bronze sculpture placed in a stone pedestal. The work shows a nude male figure of short size sitting on a rock with his chin resting on one hand as though deep in thought, often used as an image to represent philosophy. Aside from arts, France is also known for having wonderful artworks. One of the architectures, and I will be showing you some of its famous architecture design. Now, moving forward to what most of the Tourists want to see when going to France. The architecture. Architecture, art and technique, design, and building is so rich in France. This by immensely. Immersing yourself in their beautiful and early architectural design, you will be able to touch the things of the past. Isn't it wonderful being able to feel and live in the past and immersing yourself in architecture? Just like any other countries, France has undergone many different changes with their architecture. Well, considering how a society works, the only right option is to move forward and to change to something better. Staying in certain phase without changing when opportunity comes is just like constantly living in the past. That is why when we try to experience immersing ourselves in older culture, we are able to have a glimpse of the past like we are actually living in it. While I was contemplating about how I could present to all of you about the architecture of France, I felt like maybe I should do it in a way that I could let you all feel how it feels like living the actual experience of visiting those places. So I decided to present to all of you the France in a way that it personally captivated 
our team. Let me start by introducing how friends utilized concrete, arches, and vaults at the beginning. A simple explanation of what a vault is, it is essentially an arc which is extruded into the third dimension. In addition, the idea for the arc might be traced back to the placement of the large number of blocks in a circular pattern. Now, you might be wondering why I've been talking about arches and vaults when I was supposed to introduce buildings and infrastructures in France. Let me introduce you the Maison Carrie, which is located at Nimes in France, one of the first infrastructures that utilized the use of arches and vaults in France. The Maison Carry, French for square house, is an ancient Roman temple in Nimes, southern France. It is one of the best preserved Roman temples to survive in the territory of the former Roman Empire. This temple resembles the fate of the French people despite of how roughly Christianity spread before and all the executions of non-Christians. It's amazing how the temple is still standing strong, facing all the oddities it faced all throughout its existence. After the end of the reign of the Roman Empire in France, the country began to write its own rich architectural history. The country began to incorporate different arts with their architecture as different era passes by. This is by far the part that captivated us the most. France started to explore the beauty of art and infrastructures. They incorporated different designs like Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and many more with their architecture. Rococo is my favorite among these earlier architectural eras, while the Renaissance and Baroque were both born in Italy. Rococo, sometimes written Rococo with a double C, was more of a French phenomenon from the outset. The name is most likely a combination of the terms rocaille, a stone, and coquille, a shell. Two of the games remain themes. What I said earlier, staying in a certain phase is just like constantly living in the past. As 20th century came, major changes also began with the architectural designs in France. In the 20th century comes the latest architectural design which is the modernism and contemporary French architecture. Following at the end of WWI, two conflicting streams emerge, the tradition-based Yux art and the modernist led by Le Corbusier and Robert Malay Stevens. Even with Le Corbusier's radical urban plans, which terrified Parisians, both streams found a way to coexist. For better or for worse, he never got the chance to truly remove half of Paris' historical center, but his architectural plans left an indelible impression on the rest of France. The most famous, which is magnificent, Villa Savoy in Poissy, in the French capital outskirts. The modernism architecture truly represents the word modern. It has the elements to show the beauty of what's here and what is yet to come. It's like a little touch of future in the present. Do you love to touch the future while living your best life in the present? And now, let me present what most of you have been waiting when it comes to French architecture. The Eiffel Tower 
The Eiffel Tower has to be the top of the list novel French sites and structures to visit. This landmark tower, which stands tall in the heart of Paris, attracts roughly 7 million visitors each year. The Eiffel Tower, which was built in 1889 to serve as the gateway to the World Fair was supposed to be demolished after 20 years, but its architect, Gustave Eiffel, pushed to give it a new function and spare it from demolition. Before the Chrysler Building in New York, the Eiffel Tower was the world's highest building at 324 meters tall with its antenna. These French art and architecture are still on 10 up to this day. Another architecture that made me fall in love with the French works and in that fact made me cry as well. Isn't even really possible for us to cry on an artwork? Well, I guess so. Because the next architecture we made to do it. Hopefully, some of you will feel the same too with their Arc de Trompe. It was constructed to honor the deaths and sacrifices of all the people who fought during the Napoleonic Wars. Names were engraved inside and on the top of the Ark. Isn't that nostalgic? I would love to visit and read some of the people's names engraved on it. And it is amazing to know that some of the Filipino army's name were also included on that amazing work art. Wow! As what I mentioned, France is blessed having these impressive arts. And when I say blessed, it means I could have mentioned everything from where the art and architecture era started up to now. There are a lot to mention, and if we are really having a tour, it will definitely take a week or more before we could even check and see those promising things. Art and culture of various skies and forms have been a part of the evolution of our societies throughout history. Festivals, handicrafts, food, and songs provide stories and information about the connections between humans and nature. Both in the year and between generations, they are essential for people from over the world to experience a sense of oneness. Among presented ours a while ago, it was crystal clear that French people relied their art inspiration to what they see in their society. Be it happy or kind or scandalous. In fact, the more it tells you the true stories about their society, the more it becomes famous. Architecture was made to give aesthetics, in a structures, and French artists show different curves knowing their design along the journey of time, but overall, gives us the vibes and elegance of its big details without the small details. No matter where we look at a different angle or a different perspective, those faster pieces will always give us the impression of respect, classic, and elegance. Life can be, somehow, depleted like architecture. We are the designer of our life. It is for us to design the kind of aesthetics to fulfill our taste and what kind of design will make us happy. And just like how we can design our houses, we can also redesign our lives. Of course, it will take a great amount of effort, but wouldn't it be better to expand effort on the things that does make sense? At least, even at the end? When you think about it, isn't it amazingly wonderful how art and architectures can capture the essence of a culture? It can put great, epic, and legendary moments in the history with such a beauty in its tragedies. Preserving a moment through art, the thought of it is so magical that it makes me appreciate life itself. Appreciating and then suddenly wondering is the most common reaction when we use to give a pun discovering things as a child or as an adult, discovering how promising French architecture is, let me ask a question. What is there not love about French arts and architecture? Mercy, thank you for listening. Have a great day ahead.